Welcome to another episode of Faith Explorations, the podcast where we delve deep into the teachings and principles of Christianity and embark on a transformative journey through the realms of faith and spirituality. I'm your host, Kenneth Garcia. In episode 82, we embark on a profound topic, God Among Us, understanding His omnipresence. Join us as we explore the concept of God being everywhere and whether He can truly care for us personally. But our exploration doesn't end here. For more insights that can enrich your journey of faith, be sure to visit us at BibleKeeper.com. So without further ado, let's dive in. The concept of God's omnipresence is prevalent in many religions, and it stems from the Latin prefix omni, meaning all, suggesting that God is present everywhere. In Judaism and Christianity, this idea is further divided into God's immanence and transcendence. Though God is not entirely immersed in creation, He is ever-present and aware of everything. Some may argue that God is physically present everywhere, but the Bible clarifies that God does not reside on earth or within the physical universe. Instead, God's omnipresence refers to His conscious awareness of the entire physical universe, past, present, and future. So, what does it mean when the Bible says, God is omnipresent? Well, it means that God is present in all facets of the natural state of things, in all circumstances, at all times, and in all places. Now, let's address a common question. Can God truly care for us personally if He is everywhere? The answer is a resounding yes. Despite dwelling in the spiritual world, God is deeply concerned about His people. The Bible reassures us that God acknowledges those who sincerely seek to please Him and act on their behalf. For instance, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. And in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5, it is expressed, I will never leave you nor forsake you. But what about the notion of hiding from God? Can we escape His presence? Well, the Bible is clear on this matter. In Amos chapter 9 verse 2 to 3, the prophet proclaims that no one can hide from God regardless of where they may try to conceal themselves. Moreover, Proverbs chapter 15 verse 3 reminds us, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 23 to 24 also emphasizes God's omnipresence, stating that He fills both heaven and earth. To truly grasp the idea of God's omnipresence, we must understand that He is not physically present in His creation. Rather, God dwells in the spiritual heavens. However, we can learn about His invisible qualities, such as His power, wisdom, and love through His creation. It's important to note that the phrase, God is omnipresent, means that He is present everywhere in His creation, and His Holy Spirit serves as His active force, enabling Him to perceive and act on anything, anywhere, at any time. So, what does this all mean for us? First and foremost, it should serve as a comforting reminder that we are never alone. God is always with us, guiding and protecting us in times of trial and tribulation. Secondly, God's omnipresence highlights the impossibility of hiding from Him when we sin. However, it also encourages us to turn back to Him in faith and repentance. Lastly, as followers of Jesus Christ, we should apply and comprehend the true meaning of God's omnipresence. It signifies that He is fully present in all dimensions of time and space, always aware and attentive to those who call upon His name and seek Him. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Faith Explorations. Remember that God's omnipresence means that you are never alone. He is always with you, guiding, protecting, and caring for you. We hope this episode has been enlightening for you. If you enjoyed today's discussion and want to explore more topics related to spirituality, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And visit us at BibleKeeper.com for more resources that will enrich your faith journey. Join us next time as we continue to explore matters of faith and spirituality. Until then, may God bless you abundantly.